His parents own the store? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Go through the door. State kid. Little pants came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> Trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Find anything? Dead. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This it's is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Well, good. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. How can I trust you? You can't, I suppose. But you don't have many other options. There's nothing I need in here. zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. <laughs> Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Got your dad's hat. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. I ought to clear a path to open in that door. Uh, okay. Um. What's over here? Examine. This door leads to the back alley. I probably shouldn't touch that. Let's move this. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? No. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? 
What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. Ah, oh, All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Ow! Oh. Uh-oh. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. It's running down your finger. What are you talking about? I'll find you a bandage. Let's go to this. First aid. Alien. And... Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Hey. Let's... Let's bandage. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. How you doing? Okay. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's the remote to my dad's TV. Oh, jeez. Pops TV. Dad told me he bought that TV to watch baseball in here, but I caught him watching his stories more than a few times. <laughs> That's adorable. He watches soap operas. That's what I figured. your finger. It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I fix your finger. Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Dead. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay. You're so adorable. That's the door to the pharmacy. We should be able to find pills for Larry in there. All right. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Gosh, darn it. Ah! Where are them keys? Dark. 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 Let's go through. Wanna here. head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? 
It's complicated. Sometimes things happen or you do things and you can't explain them. Let's uh, head back to the others. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our hey, damage. Hey, some battery. That's a battery. And those are greeting cards. Autographs. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> hey there. Uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie, or whatever? This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and... Well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? Awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. Sit I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. I don't want to hit out quite yet. I'm still looking at greeting cards. Okay. Where? What is that look? Uh... Oh, wait a second. Huzzah. Uh, here is a battery. Or I'll give you the remote. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. I got big stumpy ones. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Success! I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. Thanks, I appreciate it. There is it. Did it. Do I need to find another battery? To get some rest, Tanya. How can I with those things out there? Is there any more batteries? Maybe. No. Ah, go. Wait. There. The pills are in there. Really? Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Okay. Let's see. I can't. How we doing? Save it. Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Totes. Let's have a look around. Okay. position. Damn. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Whoa. Just hope the power's still on. You can just do that? I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. That's so cool. Well fucking done, Doug. All uh, that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? <gasps> yes! 
us! I've got a few of them to take notice. They're getting distracted. Success! Not enough. Uh, I guess not. Hmm. Look at the one trapped over there. Better than oh. us, huh? No way. Oh shit. What? Do you know that guy? Kind of he has a familiar face. Uh, you're from around here, huh? Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all cheat up and shut up, dog. That's totally Look at the uniform though. He could have worked at the drugstore. And died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see photo. what I can find. Here's a photo. Here's a photo. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. It wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. I can't reach that brick. You can't reach it from here? Really? Derp. Duh. Use the remote on that. Open sesame. That won't work. <laughs> I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. <laughs> <Take> Doug. <laughs> Doug, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. <laughs> I can't reach that brick. Can't reach that damn brick. <laughs> Those TVs are on, and I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. I sure hope so. <gasps> Wait a minute. If I threw that brick into that 